hello everyone i hope you are good and doing well welcome to my youtube channel sales portion so today i'm going to discuss about summer 24 new release features if you are new in this channel so please like share comment subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side don't skip any part of this video because this is the very most important if you want to learn something new okay so let's get started without any further delay well, first of all this is the first feature here let me show you here this is my slide and summer 24 release logo so this is the logo of the summer 24 release logo to see this logo inside the org so it means your org is summer 24 so you can easily identify once you see this logo inside your log org then definitely you can see this is the summer 24 release org so directly we cannot see this summer 24 release org because that uh, pre-release org will be released in upcoming days so don't worry about it so if you already logged in in pre-release org like uh, spring 24 or winter 24 so you can uh, learn these all feature inside this org okay and this is some you know release dates so you have to consider in your mind so pre-release org sign up 18th of april uh, release note 24 sandbox preview start 10th of next month and uh, release site release modules release overview and feature matrix release weekends and release red lens uh, live so these all some or you know release date so you have to consider these all dates in upcoming days or in upcoming months as well okay so let's see the first feature inside this summer 24 release okay first feature is automation home still in beta but you can leverage this feature it's the very most important and in the summer 24 release salesforce has introduced a new automation lightning app that is and that's have all the functionality available in the setup plus some new features that are available only in the app app only feature include like search for the flows use more list view sorting options share flows with other user so here you can see the interface i will show you these things in the practical so please keep in touch so now let's see and let me log into my org and let's see this feature is available inside my org or not so first of all let me log into my org so this is my org here i just logged in and uh, once you refresh it immediately you can see that this logo it means this is summer 24 uh, release org okay so now how to use that features you can search under the quick find that is automation something like that so you have to search automation right so once you search this automation just click on this automation home beta and once you clicked on this automation home beta you can see the screen these all last uses about this you know flows interview without ui with ui pause interview everything you can see and here you can see the one button that is create once you clicked on this one like create and click on the flow you can see this one this is the new one and new interface in this summer 24 so you can see each and everything all the flows you can create new flows we will see this button and we have a new feature and you can list view control refresh and filter it out here so this is another feature here you have to consider it and next feature is new flow screen so in summer 24 release salesforce has introduced a new layout screen when admin can get an option either create the flow from the scratch or select a template so how to use that so you can see the screenshot start from scratch or use a template there are two options you have to select it so how to use and how to configure it so just you have to open your org so here in this org once you clicked on this new flow you will be see that features and uh, like uh, without template and with template from the scratch here mm -hmm. you can see this is the new feature like start from scratch and use the template okay so based on your requirement you can select this option in your org like this so this is the second feature very most important for us okay let's see the next feature is add conditional visibility to the repeater component in the screen flow also repeater now support lookup fills which was a much needed add-on okay so how to show and how to implement these things so just you have to create one screen flow let me show you in my org so now here you can see start from scratch i want to select this one and click on the next and screen flow create new and here you can see the screen flow just click on this plus icon add the screen let's say screen one and under this screen i want to search like a repeater 
and just drag and drop this repeater here let's say repeater under this repeater just you have to select uh, lookup so here you can see the lookup just drag and drop once you drag and drop you can enter your api name field api name something like that but here you can see the uh, visibility set component visibility so it's have this functionality inside the repeater like lookup is supported by the repeater so you can leverage this feature okay like in this screenshot also you can refer it like set component visibility right so this is the another feature here next feature is permission set unified view and this permission set unified view have lots of feature that is related permission set group user permission object permission field permission and custom permission so how to show this one very simple and very useful but before this feature you have to enable some setting in your org so how to do that just open the salesforce org under the salesforce org just here just search like user management just click on this user management setting and here you can see lots of feature like enhance permission set component view you have to enable it permission set expiry date we already enable it okay there are so many options like field level security you have to enable it so this, these all some enhancement feature you have to enable it once you enable it just open here that is permission set i have already created one permission set let me show you this one like permission set click on this permission set here and once you open the permission set here you can see the demo permission like this one just open this one demo and here you will be see some button that is view summary just click on this view summary and once you clicked on this view summary here now immediately you can see the different types of you know ui like api name license created by last modify by like session activation required name prefix related permission set group and permission set information so here related permission set groups user permission object permission field permission custom permission if this permission set have this kind of you know permission definitely that permission will be available here right now this is a blank permission set that's why you cannot see anything inside here you can see right so this is very most important you can track it for admin purpose right let's see the next feature next feature is like einstein generative ai here is still in our own summer 24 you can leverage this feature so once you open this einstein generative ai you have to see like einstein setup you have to enable it and then you will be see this all feature like einstein copilot studio beta einstein copilot action and these all analytics so how to show that let me open my org and here you have to search like generative ai so once you open this generative AI, immediately you can see the all feature first time you will be see this feature you have to enable it like this and then you can use it by sign copilot and then you have to enable this feature as well here once you enable it you can open your einstein copilot here like that or you can open the any home page as you have let's say home and if you want to learn this einstein copilot right so i already created one video about these things like full video it, it almost like a 20 or 13 minutes video length so you can watch out my previous video about this einstein copilot in briefly okay so this is another feature so let me see the next feature is Einstein for developer so Einstein for developer is in beta but you have to leverage this feature inside the VS code and this is available in marketplace so you can just click on this one so how to show that so just open here and search like Einstein okay so Einstein for developer just here you can see that this feature just click on this one and you will be see this one like VS code marketplace and VSX registry so you can learn from here just once clicked here you can see the Einstein for developer is still in beta but you can leverage this feature this is the very most important right so you can install it and this uh, Einstein for developer have lots of functionality nowadays like inline like uh, inline suggestion line suggestion code completion test generation there are so many features available so you can leverage this feature inside your org okay so this is all about like Einstein for developers and uh, I hope you learned something new in this video. If you feel like this is a very more informative for us, so please like, share, comment. Also, you subscribe the channel. Also, you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. And please, I request to you all, please subscribe as much as you can. So thank you. Thank you, guys. See you again. Bye-bye.